Hey y'all, it's DX Stampin' Sharon. Goodness gracious, it has been a day with technical issues. Holy cow, oh my gosh. All right, let me just see if I'm live. Let's see if everything else is going right. Boy, <laughs> my internet was out for several hours today, probably three hours. So of course I was flipping out um, that we wouldn't be able to go live tonight. So. Um, okay, so let me just keep on going here. Um, phew. Okay, I think we are set to go. <laughs> you know, I try not to get stressed. I try to just <clears throat> work with it and it's going to be fine, right? Okay. Hello, Bernadette. How are you? You're soaking in the tub with the Jets on. Okay, I need to talk loudly because she has the jets on. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Betty. Hi, Margaret. Okay, let's see. All right, we have about 24 on. So tonight we're going to be making a masculine card. I hear it almost every day. I just can't think of a masculine card. I can't, I just can't go there. And I think it's because. In the Stampin' Up! world, there's so many flowers, butterflies, pretty things. So I think that's what makes it hard for everybody to come up with a masculine card. So I try to do at least one a month just to help you. So, okay, I'm seeing some more people. Um, no, Nancy, I have not had much luck with technology lately. I mean, between the internet going out and my computer last week, but the computers are all fixed. So, um, hello, Game Room Gone Mad 2. Hi, Linda. Hi, Donnie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Helen. Hi, Mary. Hi, Diana. Whoa, we have a lot of people joining us. So, I don't see, there's Michelle. Um, Sharon, never mind my text. <laughs> I was too busy with my own technical issues, Michelle. I could not get my two cameras to work. So my setup is I have this stand that holds my camera up here so that you can see my hands. And then it also holds my iPad so you can see my face. I don't know if you guys want to always see my face, but this is how I run it. <laughs> so um, I couldn't get the two cameras to connect. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, goodness. Hi, Karen. Hi, Linda Carver. Hi, Creative Touches. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Patricia. Yay, Patricia just signed up for the retreat. That's awesome. I know that retreat is coming up on us fast. Linda said got her second shot today. Very tired, but wanting to see me. I get my first shot tomorrow. I just got the email and I'm like, oh gosh. All right. So, I will, um, hi Marlene, everyone from warm Wisconsin, are you being funny? I don't think it's warm in Wisconsin. <laughs> Nancy, your face is so beautiful to look at, so we do want to see it. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. So we, um, we have quite a few, I like to do a little bit of chit chatting, not too much, just so that everyone can get the notifications that I'm live and hop on here with us. Um, I know Michelle, I, it wasn't my internet. It was like, can't connect to the camera. And I'm like, why? I don't understand, but I finally figured it out. So, um, Tisha has had both of her shots. Okay. Thank you. And we had a very lovely, happy anniversary. Um, you know, with, uh, with COVID, we moved here in June. We don't know anything around here because we don't go anywhere. We stay home. And so I was getting a little sad. 42 years is something to celebrate, right? And it was like, I, I just don't know what to do. So our daughter has lived here since she was 18 and she's 30. So um, I asked her, can you think of anything we can do that would be safe, you know? Um, and so she called me and she said that her and her siblings had booked us a private winery tour um, we got to tour the cellars where they store all the barrels of wine. We got to hear about how they're all made, how the barrels are made, um, the whole concept. And um, 
we actually got to taste wine from the barrels. He had this little tube thing and fixed it so that we could have a little sip of wine from each of the barrels. It was so fun. The weather was lovely. And I just think I have some really good kids, you know? I mean, that was really a sweet gift. So, um, oh, Helen, it's freezing cold again in New York. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Dorothea. Is it Dorothea or Doretha? I had a friend in high school. Her name was Doretha. Um, Linda says, this time of year, if it's above freezing, it's warm. I, I guess I understand. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Vey. Yeah, we had... We had 40, 42 years of lots of ups and downs, but um, we definitely raised five kids out of it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to get started. Wait, before I do that, Michelle Batson is on here. Her name has a little wrench beside it. She is going to help me with your questions or comments as I'm stamping because I cannot multitask. I just can't do it. I get so distracted like I want to read what y'all are saying because I don't want I have FOMO I don't want to miss out but I know that I can't do a good job for you and demonstrate this project if I don't focus so if you have a question for Michelle you can do the at sign and start typing Michelle and her last name is Batson so um, she will see your message if she happens to miss it in the chat box so all right guys so um well, hello, Joellen. I'm so glad that you caught me live. I'm super excited. So, um, Mary Yates, I forgot to ask the man if he put sugar in the wine. I was so mad at myself when we left there. I was like, are you kidding me? So, what? if you guys don't know what we're talking about, um, on Monday on my mystery stamping, I discovered that they could put up to 15 cups of sugar in a bottle of United States wines. I'm like, that's ridiculous. And I was so mad that I forgot to ask the man if he put sugar in his wine. <laughs> All right, let's flip the camera down. Let's get this party started. Okay, so I have all my supplies ready and I'm going to move this over. Okay, so I chose to use a very masculine stamp set, Beautiful World. I think the sentiments in there are lovely. Um, I did not use the dies that go with this stamp set. Instead, I chose to use Tasteful Labels dies. And these dies, I think, are really great. They're very generic. And because there's so many different sizes, you could certainly find one to match your sentiment. And so it would give that any card um, an extra pop with the sentiment layer being up, say, on dimensionals. So I really love this and I was kind of sad at myself or mad at myself that I hadn't played with it. I think I used it once and I was like, oh, we are so going to use it. So I actually used this one right here. It fit my sentiment perfectly. I do have my measurements here, um, but I want to remind you, I am going to be moving this paper. Let me move this over a little bit. I am going to be moving this paper and you can find all the measurements on my blog. I promise. The link to my blog for this week's um, Stampin' Live with Sharon is um, listed below the video. Um, it won't be live. The blog won't be live until I get done doing the YouTube live, okay? All right, so I have my Misty Moonlight stamp pad, and I have most of my measurements all cut. Now, when you see the measurements, I actually have two different cards on my blog. So, Misty Moonlight, one inch by 12 inches. And then I have a piece of the um, Old World Designer Series paper, such a masculine paper. Um, it's, and this pattern right here could go with any, it can go any direction. I really loved this pattern right here. This measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I have two pieces that measure two and a quarter by four inches. I have another piece that measures one and a quarter by four inches. I have a piece of the brass. You know, the brass I think gets overlooked a lot, but I love it for masculine cards. This is just four inches by a half an inch. And then I've already cut out using my stamp and cut and emboss machine, um, my very vanilla using that die that I talked about. 
I have a piece of very vanilla that is two and three quarters by four inches. And then I have another piece of brass. Look at that. I mean, it's like a mirror. Look, I can see myself. I should smile. <laughs> this measures one and a quarter by four inches. Now, I don't have the main part cut yet because I wanted to cut it with you. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna bring this over a little bit. I have my sheet of Misty Moonlight that is the full size sheet because I want you to see, let me move this over just a little bit so you can see my measurements. I'm gonna actually cut this at four and a quarter. I use my paper trimmer upside down. I am not left-handed. <laughs> I don't know why I use it upside down, I always have. So now I have two pieces. So um, basically one piece I'm gonna be using for my card. Um, but then this piece, let me get, I'm gonna take and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. So these two pieces will be used for my card. And then of course, this is a great size scrap that could be cut down to even four and four inches by five and a quarter and used as a card front. But we're not gonna use this now. Okay. So on this one, let me move this out of the way. I wanna make sure you can see my, my trimmer here. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. Let's see, let me do this. Let me open this up. There we go, now you can see everything. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. I'm going to move that dark cutting blade way out of my way because I do not want to cut this. And my first measurement is going to be at three inches. And again, all these measurements are on my blog, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, can we stop for just a minute? If you have the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer and you have lost your scoring blade, did you know that you could call Stampin' Up!, tell them the order number of your paper trimmer, now it has to be our newer model, they will send you one for free. We do not sell the scoring blade because it's never supposed to wear out. We do sell the replacement cutting blades. You can get a four pack, but if you have lost yours, then you can call Stampin' Up! and they will send you another one. Little tip for you. All right, so we've done our first measurement at three inches. Now I'm going to move this over and I'm going to score at five and a half and at eight. And at nine and a half. This is an accordion fold masculine card. And the story behind this is, I made this card for my husband for his anniversary card. All right, so I'm gonna grab my bone folder. You know, I don't do much in the studio at night, but I am noticing shadows. I need to work on my lighting at night. Look at that. It's like, hmm, gotta fix that. It's bothering me. Okay, so an accordion fold. We're gonna fold it this way. Give it a good crease. We're gonna fold it back. Give it another good crease. Again. Really using that bone folder and really pressing down. We want this to try to stay down as much as possible, but because there's so much bulk in there, it is kind of hard. All right, so then we're gonna do this one back like this. Press that down one more time. Okay, so you can see how it kind of springs, but we're gonna, we'll fix that problem. Don't worry. All right, let's start assembling our card. Okay, so this is my piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? I'm gonna get my designer series papers. Oh, it scared me, it didn't look like it was gonna fit. 
I'm gonna bring in my silicone sheet to get my um, Seal Plus started. I either start it on the silicone mat or I will start it on some other adhesive that's already on there. Either way works. Um, took me a while to figure out this adhesive, but I do love it. It holds together very well. So I'm thinking about doing a video, and you guys tell me, should I do a video or should I do it live, where I do card hacks, like things to help you when you're making your cards. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to move this in just a little bit. We're going to zoom in just a little bit. Sorry, I know my hand's right there. Okay, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Hope that's better. All right, so now I'm gonna take this piece and we're going to center it on our base. So this is basically, this part doesn't open up like your typical card because we're using the accordion fun fold to finish out our card. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna add quite a bit of adhesive because I don't want this to fall apart. I don't want this to pop off. Normally I tell y'all you don't need much adhesive. All right, let me bring this down a little bit because I want to get this centered. So the fact that this paper has lines, ha, guess what? That makes it so much easier to line up. I'm gonna do that. Give that a good rub. Make sure that it's all stuck down. And we're gonna start on the inside and we're gonna start adding our uh, cardstock. So this is my very vanilla. So yeah, I thought about if I did a card hack, like things to help you when you have smudges or things like that, then you could easily ask me questions live and if I don't, whoops, wrong one. If I haven't already gotten it planned out, I could go grab something and help you solve your card making problems. So I don't know, y'all think a video or do you think to do it live? Michelle would really have to help me if I did it live because I might miss a comment, but um, I don't know. I just, I was mulling that over. I've been making a list of things that I want to go over that would help you guys. Um, whether you're a, an avid card maker, a new card maker. Um, so yeah, just let me know. I will go back afterwards and read your chats. So make sure you let me know. I did not tell y'all, you do need to be logged in in order to chat with us. Um, so yeah, I'm just assembling these layers on here. This card is super easy. Um, and it had been a while since I made one. I'm gonna, this is the, the one that I'm doing now for you is the one that I actually gave my husband. Um, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to give him. I'm gonna show you another one that I made. Um, I think they both turned out well. I used the same stamp sets, same designer series papers. Um, and I wanna talk to you about the brass. Try not to get adhesive on your brass because it's really hard to get off. Um, so, hey, y'all can see my camera above. <laughs> um, you, it's really hard to get the adhesive off of it. If you do get adhesive, um, you know, Stampin' Up! used to sell this. Well, let me grab that. The adhesive, um, what do you call that? Eraser? Do not use this on the brass. It will just smear and it just makes an awful mess. If you happen to get adhesive, and I'm talking like liquid glue. Liquid glue is usually the culprit, but if you happen to get adhesive on this, grab some undo, put it on a tissue, and then just rub gently, and just kind of keep rubbing until you break that adhesive down and you're able to get it off of your brass. All right, so we're gonna finish this up here. So pretty. And then it's just gonna to go together like that, okay? Now, one last thing. I thought it looked funny to see all this pretty, pretty vanilla. Just plain old vanilla. So I decided to bring back in that brass and add it 
as a little strip right here, like that. So then when it folds, it just goes together so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, now we're gonna fix this problem. I told you that was a problem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead though, we're gonna do some stamping. Pulling in my Misty Moonlight and I'm going to be stamping. I am using the stamps from um, The Beautiful World. Oh, I don't know if I can get my head in the camera. I don't want to get my head in the camera, but we'll see if this is straight. I always like to hold that stamp down to make sure it gives the ink a chance to get into the cardstock. So this says, thank you for being part of mine. Okay, that's what that sentiment says. And then we're gonna pull out this piece. This is our um, tag that we used. And I'm gonna grab the other stamp. We're gonna ink that up. Oh, again, really guys, I need another one. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here so just so I don't get it crooked. It's so hard with the camera above my head. Okay, so, life is a beautiful journey. Thank you for being part of mine. That's exactly how I felt when I made my husband's anniversary card. We have been on a journey, 42 years, five kids, 11 grandkids. Oh yeah, we've been on a journey. <laughs> All right, now, we're gonna bring this in. And I know that I could have told you like where to score and all of that. But I have found when I do these, this is called a belly band. When I do the belly bands, I've just found that it's a lot easier if I just take the card, hold my belly band, kind of eyeball, make sure I'm even, you know, kind of centered. And then I just do a wrap. Take my bone folder, give that a good crease. This way, I know that I am, uh, that this is gonna be secure, okay? Sometimes when you actually score, it may be too loose. Wow, you can really see my shirt in that mirror. I am just entertained by this brass paper. <laughs> I don't even wanna read y'all's comments. You probably think I'm a mess tonight. All right, so then I just like to fold this way. And I do wanna turn it over and make sure it's all lined up on the back. Okay, and we're gonna give this a good crease. Now, you could do this two ways. If you don't want to see the, or feel that on the back, just take this off and do it this way. Whoops, scoot up there. And then that way, your sentiment layer will hide that crease, that the edge of the cardstock. Make sense? All right, I'm gonna grab my tear and tape because I really think that the tear and tape does a really good job of um, securing this for me. And so I'm gonna pull this over here like this. I'm gonna put about an inch. I love the tear and tape. You can cut it if you don't like that jagged edge, but, um, I, for this card, it's okay. I'm not worried about being perfect on the edge. And then I like to take my bone folder, give that a good burnish. I do wanna see if y'all like this card, so I may, I may have to peek. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna lift this up. Take this off. I am getting, I'm getting more comfortable doing the lives. You know, the first one I did, I was a nervous wreck. What if I make a mistake? What if I say it wrong? You guys have allowed me to feel very comfortable doing the lives and not worrying if I make a mistake. You're like, oh, you're just human, it's okay. All right, so we, we have a little bit of a bow, but it is not that, accordion part is not boinging up, okay? Boy, that was a word, boinging up. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, you can add this straight on your layer or you could pop it up with dimensionals, whichever way you prefer. I think I'm gonna try dimensionals on this one. Let me grab those. 
I think anytime you add dimensionals to a sentiment layer, it really pops it up and allows you, um, I don't know, I just say it gives it personality. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. Take these off. And we're almost done with this card, but I do have that other one to show you. There we go. It's a fun masculine card. Okay, so the gold gilded gems, I just felt like it needed it. And I have figured out that even though these are gold, like that off to the side, and this is brass, they're so close that you just, I mean, it's, you can't even tell. And I just thought that for a masculine card, these gilded gems, because they're kind of flat on the tops, almost like a nail head. It's kind of what it reminds me of. So I just thought it would be kind of fun to add that to that masculine card. And there we go. We are done. What do y'all think? All right. Like I said, I have one more card to share with you. Move this out of the way. Um, okay, I have to see if y'all are saying anything. This is so great for men. Oh gosh, hubby's watching too because it's a masculine card. Oh, I hope, hope it, hubby loves it. All right, see if hubby loves this one better. So again, I used the World of Good Designer Series papers, but I went more with the, the lighter colors. And I used my stitched rectangle dies instead of the um, tasteful label dies. I would, you know, once I start playing, I'm like, oh, maybe I could make it better. Maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. So this one, I actually used the um, brass all the way around. So totally two different cards, but it's the same accordion fun fold. It's just, it, they just look totally different. Sorry, let's look inside of this one. Man, I hate missing what y'all are talking about. Michelle says she loves chatting with y'all and I'm just missing out on all of it. All right, ready? Ta-da. Same sentiments, changing the color. Life is a beautiful journey. Thank you for being a part of mine. Same, same, same. So when you go to put this back on, I do recommend that you just kind of bend it a little bit and it'll go back on, okay? So my husband always gives me cards for holidays that pop out and I thought I would do this one a little bit different fun fold just to see what he thought, so. Um, okay, let me just check out what you guys have to say. Um, she loves the brown one. Thank you, Linda. Loves the brass. These cards are awesome. Can't tell which one I like best. See, Nancy, that was my problem. So I ended up giving him this one, this version. Um, I just couldn't decide which one did I, which one did I want to give him? Um... That's the paper. The second card, Denise, is the one you use for your husband's birthday card with the stitched stars dies. Oh, that was, that sounds really pretty. Okay. I know, Cindy, I'm so glad Michelle is here too. <laughs> I'm just going to scroll back up a bit. Um, okay, y'all are loving the second one. Um, okay. So the only other thing I wanted to tell you guys is, um, I know Linda, I hear it all the time how much trouble it is to find, um, uh, how to figure out how to make a masculine card. So I've kind of taken it on as a challenge to um, help you guys. So always look for masculine cards on my uh, YouTube channel or on my blog, um, because I do try to do them as often as I can. So um, I do want to tell you guys a couple of things. If you didn't know it or not, the Butterfly Bouquet came out uh, yesterday. Yes. And if you order the whole collection um, on my website, and the link is below, then I will send you 
a free tutorial with 12 different cards using the Butterfly Brilliance Collection. Three friends and I got together and made all these cards and we have had so much fun doing that. The last thing I wanna remind you of is the Creative Aid Online Spring Retreat is March 27th and we have got so many people coming and I just wanna remind you that you are invited no matter where you live in the world. So um, if you have any questions about the retreat, you can make a comment. Um, Let's see, uh, Teresa says it depends on what his favorite color is. My husband's favorite color is yellow. One time he bought a yellow Ford truck and he came home with that and I was like, you've gotta be kidding. Yellow cowboy boots, the man's color is yellow. So, um, Cindy is drawn to the brown tones. Love the second one best. I should have demonstrated the second one. You guys seem to love the second one. <clears throat> I know, Linda, thank you. I'm really glad that we had that little special private tour. It was, I felt really special because there was nobody else there. <laughs> um, Nancy's gonna try to make this type of card for her son's birthday. Very good, thank you. Ah, Linda's coming on the 27th. Kathy's looking forward to the retreat. And Mary Yates says she's she appreciates my masculine cards. So you are all very welcome. I am so grateful that you took the time out of your Thursday evening to join me. I did go live at 7 p.m. Central um, here on my YouTube channel. If you're watching the replay, I hope that you enjoy it. I would appreciate a comment. I would appreciate thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. You can do that below the video and then make sure you hit that bell and you'll be notified when I go live or I upload a video to YouTube. So um, let's see. Oh, Michelle Knits for You says, oh, cool. She is very good. You have to check out her Mystery Mondays. Yes, Mystery Mondays is at 4 p.m. here on my YouTube channel. The best way to get the first clue, it's your supplies cut, ready to go, is to subscribe to my newsletter. You can find that link below the video. You can find my blog link below the video. You can find um, how to um, go to my store, how to contact me. Just you have a question, let me know. So, okay. Diane says she's done all four retreats and will be at this one also. Yay, thank you. Nancy's been to all the retreats. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, hi, Virginia. I'm glad you're here and you love the cards. Um, Barbara, the uh, designer series paper that I use tonight is from the World of World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. It's a great masculine stamp set or paper. It's really pretty. Um, Barb says this is just what she was looking for. I'm going to make one for my husband for our anniversary and one for my mom on our 95th birthday. Awesome. I'm so glad that the timing worked for that and I hope that you have fun making this card. It's easy. Um, like I said, all the measurements are on my blog. So um, Diane, Mystery Monday is at 4 p.m. Central on my YouTube channel. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Barbie says this would be good for my son and son-in-law. Okay. Uh, thanks, me. She says that we are very talented. Should be a great retreat. We're looking forward to it. We've got lots of things planned, and I actually made um, one of my cards a while ago before I went live tonight. So, all right. Maria says she loves Mystery Monday. See, I just want to sit here and read what y'all are saying. <laughs> Um, what time does Mystery Monday start? Dieta, it starts at 4 p.m. Central, so that would be 2 p.m. Pacific, okay? Um, ah, uh, yay, Janet, I'm glad this card will impress your son-in-law. That's awesome. You're so welcome. Leslie, can overseas people purchase the butterfly tutorial? Great question. Yes, you can. You can go to my blog. Again, the link is below the video. It's www.txstampin.com and you can purchase the 20, uh, 20, the 12 tutorials for $20 US. So depending on where you're at, you are welcome to go and purchase that and then you'll be all set. It, I'm telling you, this bundle is so much fun. I was actually playing with it for another card that I wanted to do, another um, kind of a pop-up card. Maybe I can make a good pop-up card for my husband. Not with butterflies, though. But anyway, um, 
Okay, Marianne, just signed up for the newsletter. There you go. Kathy P says, Mystery Monday rocks. Yes, it does. We have a lot of fun on Mystery Mondays. There is no telling what we will talk about. We have a lot of fun. So here's a welcome, Vieta. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great rest of your evening or day if you happen to be um, in another country. I Again, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me and Michelle. Take care.